Hello friends, in this video I will discuss about after burning system used in an aircraft and after burning or reheat is a method of augmenting the basic thrust of an engine to improve the aircraft takeoff, climb and combat performance. The increased power could also be obtained by the use of a larger engine but as this would increase the weight, frontal area and overall fuel consumption so an after burning system provide the best method of thrust augmentation for short period. As you can see in this picture, two turbojet engine, one without an afterburner and one with afterburner. Now you can see here, the area of the afterburning jet pipe is larger than a normal jet pipe would be for the same engine to obtain a reduced velocity gas stream, to provide for operation under all condition and afterburning jet pipe is fitted with either a two position or a variable area propelling nozzle. As you can see in this picture, turbojet with afterburner have an adjustable nozzle. So the nozzle is closed during non-afterburning operation. But when afterburning is selected, the gas temperature increases and the nozzle opens to give an exit area suitable for the resultant increase in the volume of the gas stream. So this prevent any increase in pressure occurring in the jet pipe, which would affect the functioning of the engine and enables afterburning to be used over a wide range of engine speed. Secondly, if we compare the thrust produced by these two engines, so obviously turbojet with afterburner when afterburning is in operation provide more thrust as compared to turbojet without an afterburner. But the thrust of an afterburning engine without afterburning in operation is slightly less than that of the similar engine not fitted with afterburning equipments. So this is due to the added restriction in the jet pipe. The overall weight of the power plant is also increased because of the heavier jet pipe and after burning equipment. Construction As you can see in this picture, these are the basic equipment fit, uh, of an after burning system. Basically an after burning system consists of burners, jet pipe and propelling nozzle. So on the left side of the picture, you can see the burner system which consists of several circular concentric fuel manifolds supported by struts inside the jet pipe. Fuel is supplied to the manifold by feed pipes in the support struts and spread into the flame area between the flame stabilizers from holes in the downstream edge of the manifolds. So the flame area stabilizers are blunt nose V-section annular link located downstream of the fuel burner. This flame stabilizer creates turbulence which causes the approaching gases to revolve and mix thoroughly. So after burners, there is a jet pipe which is made up of heat resistance nickel alloy and requires more isolation than the normal jet pipe to prevent the heat of combustion being transferred to the aircraft structure. The jet pipe may be of double skin construction with the outer skin carrying the flight load and the inner skin the thermal stresses. A flow of cooling air is often induced between the inner and the outer skin. Now you can see here a heat shield in the jet pipe. It is made up of the similar material to the jet pipe and it is often fitted to the inner wall of jet pipe to improve the cooling at the rear of the burner section. This heat shield comprises a number of bands linked by cooling corrugations to form a single skin. This shield also pro prevent combustion instability from creating excessive noise and vibration which in turn would cause rapid physical deterioration of the after burning equipments. So after jet pipe, there is a propelling nozzle made up of similar material as the jet pipe. So there are two types of propelling nozzle used with after burner. As you can see in this picture, the first one is a two position propelling nozzle and the second one is the variable area propelling nozzle. So in two position propelling nozzle, uh, there are two movable eyelids that are operated by actuators or pneumatic cramps to give an open or closed position. And in the next picture, you can see a variable area propelling nozzle. So which have a ring of interlocking flaps that are hinged to the outer casing and uh, may be enclosed by an outer shroud. The, the flaps are actuated by powered ramps to the closed position and by the gas load to the intermediate or the open position. So these are all about the construction of the after burning system. Now operation of after burner. As we know gas stream flow from the engine turbine enters the jet pipe at a velocity of 750 
to 1200 feet per second but as this velocity is far too high for a stable flame to be maintained so the flow is diffused before it enters the afterburner combustion zone that is the flow velocity is reduced and the pressure is increased however as the speed of burning kerosene at normal mixture ratio is only a few feet per second so any fuel light even in the diffused air stream would be blown away so a form of flame stabilizer is therefore located downstream of the fuel burner to provide a reason in which the turbulent eddies are formed to assist the combustion and where the local gas velocity is further reduced to a figure at which flame stabilization occur while combustion is in process an atomized fuel spray is fed is fed into the jet pipe through a number of burners which are so arranged as to distribute the fuel evenly over the flame area combustion is then initiated by the igniter and the unburned oxygen in the exhaust gas helps to support the combustion the resultant increase in the temperature of the exhaust gas gives an increased velocity of the jet leaving the propelling nozzle and therefore increase the engine thrust the use of afterburner dramatically increase the temperature and thrust produced by an engine therefore when an afterburner is being used the area of the exhaust gas must be increased as you can see here when an afterburner is in use the area of the propelling nozzle increases so if it is not then back pressure would be created at the rear of the turbine which would increase turbine temperature beyond a safe level so by increasing the size of the exhaust nozzle ex exhaust gas temperature can be held to a tolerable limit now you can see here the effect of after burning on the rate of climb you can see with after burning an aircraft reach a certain altitude at a very short time but without an after burning the aircraft takes uh, a lot of time to reach uh, to reach the same altitude so this is the advantage of after burning after burner are primarily used on military aircraft to assist in take off or produce rapid climb out speed after burner can provide as much as a 100% increase in thrust however the increase in fuel flow is 3 to 5 times higher than normal so this is all about after burning system used in an aircraft hope you understood please do like and share the video subscribe the channel thank you for watching